Okay, looks good, everybody. We're all set to record. Now let me just show things off for the YouTube audience. As you can see here, we leveled everybody up, and I got myself a new party member, all trained up to replace for Alligator. Yeah, check out that very funny little Vaporeon there. Surf, Bite, and Special Attack is already higher than for Alligators. Very fun. I don't know what to really do with my starter anymore, because it just can't keep up. It needs a lot more levels, though, and I need to visit the Move Tutor. I need to visit the Move Tutor to get an Ice Beam, because it really, really needs that. I don't think it's getting Crunch, though. I named it Sonic because it's blue, and I couldn't think of anything else. I just went for, the, like, the first chat suggestion, because why not? So, anyways, everyone else is, like, mid-60s. We'll put Dana up front for a little bit. Sonic can go ahead and just have the experience share. Dragonite Hyper Beam. Last time I had to go through the entirety of Mount Mortar and it was not very fun. What took you, Asprey? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. And yes, I know, Vaporeon is slow, but it doesn't matter. The stairs are right here. Asprey, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Oh, it's dark down here, but not really. Feeling lucky, punk? Go ahead, take another step. We've got traps on the floor. Am I able to use Flash in here, or is it just like the map assets just look like this? Oh boy, what's he got? Okay, I put Dana up front. Too bad, Vaporeon might have been able to actually take this. Okay. I'll just go for submission. It might take a two shot, though, because it is this. Anyways, chat, I'm starting a little bit late today. I was all good to go, like, an hour and a half ago, but my neighbors decided they needed to power wash things for that amount of time, and I couldn't, like, <laughs> stream at all with that noise going on. Anyways, this don't matter. That hits a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to go back and heal after this first fight. I don't think Lance murdered that guy. He just hit him with a hyper beam. Or maybe he attacked the Pokemon. Now he probably just, like, absolutely bodied that guy. Scizor. Now this is what Alucard was trained for. Look at that. Look at that. You can also train more at Lake of Rage, because there's a lot of fire types in the grass there, but Vaporeon still can't, like, one-shot things, because they're, like, in the high 50s. This is Scizor. It legally has to die. Also, once again, all that training and the enemies here match my level. Alucard was like, like uh, 11 levels lower when I ended last episode, I think. Gyarados. This is what we need electric for. That's what we got Sakura. Just hit it with Thunder Punch. This guy seems to have a bunch of big bodies here that have, like, double weaknesses. Go for it. I don't have the held item on except Everstone. Can someone remind me what level it is Sakura gets Psychic? Because I actually- I forgot if it was 67 or 68. Ooh, you can't live that. You can't- oh no. Thanks for resub there. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, that's lame. That's so lame. You know what? Get in there, Sonic. Get in there. Go fast. Yeah, I'll take that. Experience share works funky in Gen 2. Just gives you experience twice. It survived an electric move. I know, that should be illegal. At least I can go heal after this. I hope Dana can just hit it with submission, but this thing is probably going to outspeed me. Going for double edge. Come on. Nice, I lived. And I don't have to worry about recoil. It was 67? Okay. Was I 65? So I should take the Everstone off after this one level then. Make sure I save before going into battles too, just in case I mess it up. Sonic gets a little bit. Kaboom. Splish. All right, well, let's get out of here. That's great. The basement is dark down there. 
my Pokemon got slaughtered. Absolute fun times. Only the first Team Rocket member messed me up. And now I gotta go through the statues God knows how many times. This'll be fun, trademark. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Everybody have a wholesome house and time. When I have an Alakazam, oh, they better watch out. They're gonna fear spoons when they're done- when I'm done with them. I see double statues there. Ah, oh, great. At least two I gotta go through. I don't think Flash would even work in here. Oh, at least three! That's cool. That's cool. Hey, intruder alert. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold a second. Okay, I'm good. Ugh. Oh, you're gonna go boom over and over. That's your- that's your strategy. You're scum! Uh, Ghost would be good right now. I could just sacrifice my little shrew. In fact, I probably will. Go, little shrew, go! It's going for T-Wave. It's trying to paralyze me just in case it survived. We still get a little bit of experience off that. 65 for Dana. Hmm. Let's send Dana back in and let her sweep. Cloyster. I could just go for... Wait, what am I saying? Fighting is still good against ice. You may be Cloyster, but come on. My attack stat is huge. Yeah, I can definitely two-shot you with this. Try attack? That's weird. Is it going for statuses or something? Okay, nice. We'll slowly, very slowly let the Vaporeon get stronger, because we got the experience share at the end of last episode. Dang, I failed. I did what I could to train up the Eevee. It's my turn, there's no escape. But I only got it to level 47. It's still not perfectly ready to battle, even though it has better special attack than for Alligator. Okay, you're gonna go boom. <sighs> if only I could start with a water type. For Alligator, could probably also tank this, too. That's why they start the first battle with Electrode, so if you have a water type up front, you get punished for it, or they possibly remove it. Still think, yeah, maybe Dragonite. I only had time to really reset for a good Eevee. Okay, went for Earthquake first. Give it a blast. This is all it's gonna take. They went to level 65 already, too. That's great. Super effective. 612, 612. Notable Vaporeon. There you go. Fortress. This is what you were made for. There's no such thing as sturdy. There's no such thing as sturdy. Wait, there is such a thing as focus band, though, right? I think I've seen that once or twice early on. Light him on fire. Oof. It's so hot right now, I really need to down a cold drink. Nice. It wouldn't shock me if that fortress has... has that. Because I'm gonna have to fight it over and over. Everything is just gonna go boom! Feels like a ghost type is mandatory here, but they have other backup moves to still fight. That's why Golem's got Earthquake. If you've, if you've got Gengar, it'll just hit you with that instead of exploding. Everybody gotta save, stay hydrated. Yeah, everybody could just be packing Bright Powder randomly. I don't know if it's possible for me to get it. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the main way of getting Bright Powder in... Oh, damn it. In Vanilla Gen 2, it was like a trade only from Gen 1, I think. Oh, come on, that is so lame. 
Like, there are a few special Pokemon that when traded to Gen 2, they'll automatically be programmed to be holding an item. Like, for example, I think the yellow version Pikachu is always set to always have a light ball when it's sent over. Could be a wild Pokemon that has it, yeah. This is really bad. I already have to leave, and this is the first, like, round of statues. I don't think I can make it through the, the next ones. I think I should just grind uh, to get Alakazam first. At least if I know the starting lineup, I can build my team up better for it. Electrode will be first, but it's always going to outspeed me. It's always going to go for... Damn it, having a golem myself here would be good, but I didn't have time for that. Held by a legendary Pokemon that isn't Mew in a transfer. Okay. This was only the second battle, right? Okay, there's two battles there. I have to go back. Let's get the Alakazam. I just gotta give um, Sakura one more level. And do I have a single rare candy? This would be a good time to use that, actually. Just let, let her finish that level up and then give her the rare candy so she learns Psychic and becomes that. It'll be the same guys over and over, but I need to make sure I can one-shot Weezing. Let me see. Yeah, let's let you finish that off. Check how many candies I got. Just the one. Alright, let's make a save. My playtime is all over the place because I had to grind so much. I pretty much spent a good chunk of last night. I was grinding this on speed up to train up Vaporeon and Alucard mainly. I was just watching like more Kit Boga videos. I've just been on like a massive binge of like watching and rewatching some of his stuff. It's been pretty fun. Nice to see scammers have their time wasted and get irritated over it. Okay, let's go for Fire Punch. Get that one level. On the subject of relaxing, I spent most of yesterday having like a really good day off. Like most of my non-stream days have been spent like editing, but I gave myself a nice break and I just played like Tears of the Kingdom for most of yesterday. And that was a lot of fun. Ugh. Move this over here. Put that over there, there we go. It was really nice. As much as I hate the heat from summer, I do kind of get nostalgic for summer, like, every time it rolls around. Like, uh, I get memories of just, like, playing Zelda games at my grandma's. Um, I just remember, like, summer vacation. I think we could, that's all I need to say, really. We all have nostalgic memories of what we played during summer vacation. Though last summer was a little rocky, because many of you might remember, I spent the entirety of August, um, I got the big sick that starts with the letter C, and I spent it in, like, most of the uh, the first week in bed and the rest of the month like recovering Ugh. There we go. Oh boy, you're gonna make this difficult aren't you just die At the very least during that one week of being bedridden I played the entirety of Yakuza 0 and that was pretty fun. Oh it fled. I'll oh, piss off <laughs> Okay Okay Here's a sun flora we can beat this thing up safely All right, pop that. I don't trust YouTube enough to be able to say the full the full name of that out loud, uh, Vampy. You never know. They still they still can't even handle me saying my first name out loud. I just realized I should probably take the vap Vaporeon's experience share off for this, shouldn't I? Let's take it off for a moment. Getting to level fifty is going to be huge for it. At least these are good grind spots with, like, pure grass types and fire types near Lake of Rage. Oh boy. Never trust YouTube but anything, that's right. Never. Fire punch. Ah, of course. Of course! The job was quick and easy. Get in there. Keltangela, and then nothing happens. Come on.
You are so intent on wasting all my time. It's not even funny. Can I run into a different grass type in this grass? Good lord. Just don't say anything. It'll make YouTube mad. That's right. Just upload four hours of silence every day. That'll be much better. Don't go over so well. Fill me up, Joy. Do it again. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you for waiting. All right, though. But anyways, chat, my plan for this weekend, I wanted to get some streaming done, and then I wanted to spend Monday actually getting back to editing stuff. You see here, I've had a Mega Man video into editing for a little bit, and I really want to get that done. I took a little bit easy since I finished that Pokemon Glitch video, but... I want to make sure I get this out for July, and then people can stop memeing about the fact that I only upload once every six months. I'm just gonna switch to Alucard, you know what? I have had enough of running into this little spaghetti monster. That's right, it didn't affect me. It looks like Alucard is about to hit a level anyway, so this is fine. Why do you keep talking over the gameplays, Mr. Streamer Man? We joke about that. But I've genuinely seen those comments. <laughs> oh boy. No, I'm talking about the other channel. Everyone who watches the other channel doesn't even know this one exists. Alright, game, I am begging you. Anything but Tangela. Anything but the Tangela. Please. There, was that so hard? Was that so hard? It'll die one hit to Ice Punch, too. I hit Thunder Punch, of course. For some reason, my brain thought Ice Punch was on the bottom. I don't know why. There's no way that'll kill. Wow, that did a lot more than I was expecting for a non-stab. Excellent. 14, 33, 66, 180. All right, let me just get over to the grass. Or out of the grass, I should say. No reason to fight these things. We're already done. I'm going to use the rare candy. All that leveling up, and it turns out I didn't do enough right away. All right, I'm going to make a quick save just in case I mess this up. I'm just worried I'm going to miss menu and, like, delete a fire punch or something. That would really suck. Okay, game save. Take off the Everstone. Now let's give her the rare candy. All this training. Yes, yes, yes. I've waited so long. I trained this thing to level frickin' 67 just to get this move. And now I have the perfectly set up Alakazam. I earned this. Double the spoons. Sakura evolved Alakazam. Now I should probably use the PP up on Psychic as well, because it's going to be pretty important, especially for that gauntlet in the, uh, down there. Hold up a sec. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it in the other pocket? Oh, I think I, I stored it in the PC, actually. Let me go get that. She's gonna eat so much ice cream with those. Heck yeah. That's, uh, that not- that's Bill's PC, silly. Oh, I got two of them. Yeah, we're gonna use them both on Psychic. Okay. What's the max again? You use- it's three PP-ups you can use on a move? Or is that just Gen 1? I imagine it would still work here, because Gen 1 has to have connectivity. Psychic. She's ready. She's so ready. Let's check them stats. 152 HP. Not stellar, but Alakazam ain't meant to be a tank. 14 Psychics. Look at that. God, look at that special attack. Over 200. 184 speed. Nothing is getting away from me. Unless they have a quick claw. In which case... God, I am going to get quick clawed by, like, a double edge so many times, and it's gonna sting. 
All right. It went from 183 to 203. You're right. It did say 183. Too bad my defense is, like, below 100, which is funny because I'm pretty sure I actually do have, like, a near-perfect defense IV for this mon, but it's kind of worthless on it. But I guess it might help if I'm fighting lower-leveled mons. Oh, well. Special defense is good enough. All right, she's ready. Now I'm going to give her... Hang on. Where is it? I'm gonna use the King's Rock for something, too. Yeah, this thing. Just to buff Thunder Punch. I don't have a Twisted Spoon. Charcoal is on you. Soft Sand is on you for Earthquake. You still have Mystic Water. You need the Experience Share. Because we need to train you up. Now, is anyone close to another level? You're just back up. You're doing good. Damn, those are good stats. 176 is high, but now I got someone with over 203. There's no way I can one-shot Electrode, though. That's a problem. Hmm. And then there's you. Let me go back a second here. Yeah, the main three are all good to go. There's no way I can survive explosion. It's gonna use, it's gonna T wave me right away, which is a pain in the ass. I might not have any choice but to just kind of tank it. The, that electrode is gonna cause me so many problems, isn't it? All right, let me heal up right quick. I think maybe I should also just go buy some revives right quick as well. Because I might die in there and lose my money anyway, and having revives between the statues might be needed if they're all gonna go boom. Let's fly. I guess there's a shop here. Now, where the hell was it? There it is. How much money I got? Good enough. You don't sell revives. You don't sell revives. Do does any shop sell revives? Buy a couple of these while I can. In here. Uh-oh. I'm not so sure they sell them, then. Olivine was the latest shop, because there isn't one in Cienwood or a traditional one in Mahogany. So I guess I'll just go in for it, huh? Alright, just in case uh, Heracross gets taken down, I should put Sakura in the second slot. Might still sacrifice the Shrew. How many revives do I have? Doesn't look like I have any. Well, all right then, let's save and go back in. What do you want, Joey? Why are you always call me right after I save? Rattan's looking sharper than ever. That Rattan needs to go away. Why you gotta be like this, Joey? Why do you think I care about your Rattata? I don't even know where the traps are planted. You'll just have to collect your courage and walk. I better make sure I double talk to everyone in case they have the password. Okay. Wait, what? The statue didn't reactivate? Huh? I thought for sure it would. Okay, here's a ditto. Hang on. I thought for sure that was going to happen. Did I... I, I kind of wonder if I glitch it, because there's no way Kaizo is this merciful. I'm going to let Sonic just do this right quick, why don't I? Because I don't think you can run from these battles. Or at least they probably made it so you can't. Defense fail, whatever. 
Did I over-prepare for the battles? I guess I did. I was fully expecting every single thing to just wreck every single statue to cause the battles to happen again. Wow, that was nothing. I thought I'd get a little bit more because it was level 62, but it used the Sandshrew's transform stats. There's a warp tile there. That's the thing that- the tile that sends you back to the start. Okay, this is gonna be a bit more forgiving than I thought. Makes you suspicious of what comes next, yeah. This isn't a flash room. This isn't like a real dark room. If it was a real dark room that needed flash, it would be perfectly pitch black and you couldn't see a thing. Okay, it's gonna T-wave me. Whatever. And damn, he's not gonna go boom, huh? Oh, that's cool. I love getting paralyzed two turns in a row. Hi, Miner. Welcome. Well, that's great. I should have just let it explode on the sand true again. Here we go. Well. I'm gonna have to heal this up after the statue fights, but... These Sonic's getting stuff. Cloyster. Um, I think I'll... I hit the wrong button, damn it. Alright, whatever. Lance will heal me up later soon enough. I'm just gonna go for it. I might have to let just Dana die now. So Sakura can just come out second and do this. Alright. Sakura's Ice Punch might be enough to take out the Alakazam. Also, it kind of bothers me how, um, when you look at Alakazam's back sprite, it looks like it has no eyes. Like, its eyes are empty, but I think it's supposed to be, like, the far, like, one of the black pixels on the right is supposed to be its eyes looking forward, but it just looks empty. Alright. Thunder's my best. I'm gonna punch... Oh, no way in hell you live that. Not when I have this high freaking special. Have a, a freaking held item boost at your cloister. You have no special defense. Oh, my God. <sighs> they buffed its special defense in this. Of course they did. Escape punch. Oh, boy. How exciting, how fun. I don't know if, I don't think Golem got any buffs, right? I might just go right into for alligator and use Surf on it then. You can only do this so many times until you're out. What's next? Dang, I failed. Alright, time for the next one. It's my turn, there's no escape. Rocket Grunt would like to battle, he's got a golem. I don't think I trust Ice Punch to kill him now. Because we all know I ain't living a single hit from this thing. Get him. Oh, Rock Slide. Surprised you trust that to hit and you just go for Earthquake. Wash it away. And then the one after this. It, yeah, he sends out the Fortress. I really hope all of these just aren't packing a random focus band that's going to save them. For a split second, it hesitated on that last red pixel. I was worried. You'll get there, Sonic. You'll get there. Fortress. This is what Alucard was made for. I don't know if Fortress has any buffs, but I don't actually know if it has any of this thing here. Is it on fire? Yeah. 
Ain't no sturdy here, except for random focus thing. 820. That's not a whole lot from that, but that's okay. Wheezing? Now, if you live this psychic, I'm gonna be very disappointed. That was the main reason I went and got Sakura to her final form. Blast it! With those wobbly rings, whatever the psychic animation is supposed to be. There you go. Jeez, that's a lot, even for Divided. Okay. Almost 130 special attack at 50 is good. Surveillance cams are in the statues. We'll keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. Okay. Wait, what? But they're all blocked off. Is one of them fake? Where do I stand? It is fake. One of them is, then. Okay. Computer doesn't work. It's a bamboozle. All right, then. Let's keep going. Hopefully I'll find a way to quickly exit, because having to go through all this over and over would suck. Hmm. It's just gonna T-bolt. Damn it, Sakura might be my best option. I might just have to go for a hard Psychic on Electrode, but I'm not confident that would kill it one hit. This is pretty bad. I, I think I'll just have to sacrifice Cut for the next Electrode, then. I hope it just explodes. Wobbuffet. Oh boy, here we go! Can't escape. Yeah, you can't run from these. Do I have a status move? Not really. I don't even have any to really put on my team. Best I could do is just kind of hope I burn it with Fire Punch. It's trying to take one with me. Great. I don't suppose I could just randomly catch it, and it will- I can just- it'll have perfect IVs and everything, and I can use it later. Well, that was almost- that almost worked. Selecting its moves at random. Maybe I should just catch it. Pop it in the calculator later, see if it's any good. Because I might need this for the Elite Four or something stupid. Ah, crap, he went for Mirror Coat. So many has three moves, it's always a one in three chance. Ah, <sighs> so lame. I think I should just catch it. This whole whole point of this thing is to just mess you up. Oh well, throw great balls. Having bad DVs isn't awful since it wants to take damage. That's true. Come to think of it, yeah. Doesn't the only thing Wobbuffet needs is HP then, right? I, I guess so. Um, yeah, I can't think of any good reason. Like, what, what if its attack stat's gonna do, right? Alright, let's just keep throwing Great Balls at it. Having more HP is nice. I can always farm for a good one later if they always spawn here, too. Oh, come on. Throw great balls and hope it gets caught. <sighs> it's not getting caught. Going for Destiny Bonds. Can't lower the accuracy of counter or mirror coat. I'm gonna see if I can get it to red. I forget how Destiny Bond works, like, is it like, uh, if you, if you go second, does it apply for the next turn, or does it only work if you go first? Oh, nice, I caught it. 
Thanks for the resub there, Ray. Appreciate it. Oh, boy. Why does the Pidgey I ran into have stars around it? Um, I don't know if you're bamboozling or not, but you may have just found a shiny. I'd find it very hard to believe, <laughs> um, that you just said, I'm playing my first Pokemon game and say that. <laughs> Picks or it didn't happen. In order to conceal its black tail, it lives in dark cave and moves only at night. Give a nickname to Wobbuffet. Nope, just send it to the PC and I'll check it later, I guess. Got some gold. Doesn't count if it gets KO'd with Toxic or something, right? Does it? There we go. Ah, yep, there's more. I don't think you have Pokeballs yet during that. Yeah, that's pretty rough then, if that's true. Press X to doubt. Okay, here we go. Thank you for the resub there. Enjoy your teddy bears. One whole years of them now, too. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna outspeed me. I'm gonna hope for a crit, or burn it, then its explosion will do even less. I don't know if I want to send in Sandshrew. It's probably gonna use explosion this turn now, since it went for its T-Wave, so I'll just go for it. Why not? I think the Electrode locks itself into exploding anyway against the Shrew, because it can only use electric moves, so it just resorts to using this. Excellent. Thanks for all the bits there, friend. Okay, good. Alright. Any, uh, language there, friend? Send out Alucard back. Cloyster. <sighs> I'm trying to think here. This team can't really do this here. We're kind of boned, aren't we? I might get sent out. Why do you just try attack instead of surf? Thanks for all the gift subs there, Ray. I appreciate it. Everybody gets bear emotes now. Okay, go for it again. And now it's using surf. I don't know if I can live this. Probably not. Live? Nope. Uh, I hope there's a PC up ahead that I can turn off the security system with. All I have left is for Alligator. <laughs> this is over. I'm a teensy bit worried. <laughs> yeah, I should be. I hope Crunch gives me the, the drop. Let's do that. Crunch is, like, the only thing I can do against this thing. Unless I want to hope for a random freeze. Its physical defense is too damn high. All right, I got the first drop. This is good. And it's wasting Surf against Gator. I think this thing can also explode, but I think these guys only go for explosions when they literally do not have any other option. Okay. It might just be a way to stop you from, like, sw switching in, like, a hard counter or something. I don't know. Dang, I failed. Okay, here comes the second guy. I don't think I can solo this. It's my turn, there's no escape. All I pretty much have is just, bam, for Alligator and Vaporeon that's in training. I should be able to get away with a Surf right away, though. I hope you guys don't hear the fans still, because, man, I really need this thing going. I'm gonna die without this thing turned on. I have it in just the right spot. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. It's all up to you, Mr. Gator. 1225. Fortress. I don't have anything I can do except use Surf on it. Or 
higher level than me. I thought I trained up enough at, like, Lake of Rage and stuff, because the wild Pokemon there were, like, in the mid to high 50s. Ooh, this ain't good. Ooh, that's really not good. Random freeze? Well, you can thaw out pretty easily in this gen, but... Yup. It's over, man. It's over. All that's left is Vaporeon. And he's level 50. Come on, Sonic. Go fast. It's all up to you. Never mind the fact that Sonic can't swim. Maybe if I sand attack, he'll explode and miss me. Or he can just use Psy Wave. Don't even remember how this works in Gen 2. This is the only thing I can do, and I'm going for it. I don't think he's even gonna use Explosion. It's basically Nightshade, okay. Kaizo made it a set damage move. Oh, okay, Kaizo did that. I thought Gen 2 in general did it. Alright, unfortunately, I lost. I got some money along the way. I wonder if it evened out. Seems like I have more than what I went in with anyway, so that's okay. Let's go spend it. Okay. Hmm. Let me check what's at the Ecritique shop. I don't suppose they have revives here or there, do they? It's a bit crappy. I didn't expect the Rocket Hydro to be this much of a jump. There's more of this. Oh, they do have revives here. Okay, good. I better stock up while I can. I have more of these in the uh, PC, but I'll just sell one right now. At the very least, it seems like the statues don't re-spawn. Uh, hmm. The trainer's there, I mean. Just barely. It's fine. Okay. How close is everybody? Dana got messed up in that first fight. Um... Since I lost the second rocket guy, do I have to replay the statues from the start, or I just fight the second one? I'm kind of wondering how Kaizo did this. I assume I gotta restart the whole double battle. You know what it is? I think the reason that the statues aren't, like, repeatable fights is so that you can't use them to farm money later. I think that's why. That's gotta be it, because... They could make it really annoying right now to have to fight them, but then it would make it kind of easy to grind experience and money if you had the right setup for that. Okay. They just make you do them over and over to kind of, like, make up for that, I suppose. Good old payday and speed up. Hang on. Let me double check the experience bar. How close is everyone? Not very close at all. Huh? For alligator's close, but for alligator can't really do much. I suppose all I can do is just go back in. Right? I might have to keep fighting... Hmm. I might just have... Oh, wait, I can use the bike in here? It's kind of random, but okay. Let me lean in. Okay. Hold up a sec, I'll grab a drink and... Okay, this was a tile. For Ditto. Can't run from these, so let's just swap in Cut, and then swap in for Alligator to kill, I guess. Everybody gets a teensy bit. This won't give for Alligator enough to level up, that's for sure. Alright, I had a quick drink. Blast it. 
tiny pink shrew is down. Eighty-eight. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I think we gotta go through here. Intruder alert. Yeah, I gotta start from the first fight. Here we go. Just the guy with Electrode, and I honestly forget what the second Pokemon is. Right, the Cloister. So I know now that if I switch to Sandshrew, I pretty much trick this AI into exploding, so I can use Sandshrew as a free, like, electro Electrode remover Pokemon, I suppose. Here we go. Might even just be worth reviving the Shrew just to do that again. And 44. So next, I know that Dana can two-shot the Cloister. Since apparently I can't one-shot it with Thunder Punch. Here we go. No, 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 I don't mean revive in battle. I mean revive outside of battle. I know you're not allowed to use revives in battle in this mod. Getting iced. Oh, give me a- give me a frickin' break. Let's see if I can thaw out. Frozen solid. Frozen solid. Okay, defrosted. Although it's too late now, that one status kind of messed me up good. Use try attack. Can I take this? Just barely. Gotcha, boyo. Dana's not dead yet. Alright, what about Sonic? 51. Alright. Dang, I failed. You have about, yeah, over 3,000 per battle is pretty good if you could set these guys up to farm. My turn, there's no escape. What is it? Okay, Golem, Fortress, and what was the last one again? I immediately forgot. I'm gonna let for Alligator just be switched in for this, because I still really need Dana for it. Wheezing, thank you. It was on the tip of my tongue. Sometimes I just forget things that happened a moment ago. I'm getting old. Okay, you're good. Alright. He's getting washed away. I should be able to one-shot Psychic the Wheezing, I hope. He should. <laughs> Not getting close to that level up. Still too far away. Okay, Fortress can't do anything against Alucard. Unless it still has that random Focus Band. I don't know what items are on any of these Pokémon. Focus Band, I can only tell if it activates. Here we go. Same with Bright Powder. I can only tell if they have Bright Powder if, like, I randomly miss a move that should have 100% in that situation. I think a few Gym Leaders have had Bright Powder. I can't remember which one, but I remember missing a, a very important move because of it. Didn't Yusin have, like, Bright Powder on Zatu or something? Anyways, no matter. Okay, what do we got? He sure did. Comes the eyeless Alakazam. He's about to scoop out your eyeballs. Take them for himself. No way you're living this. No way you're living this. You absolutely are gonna die. You're not living this. You're not living this. That's right. Good. Now what? 1197. Surveillance cams are in the Pokemon statues. We'll keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. Okay. Now let's heal up. You got a burger? Sounds good. 
I had some the other night when Dylan was over. My mom makes great ones. They're good. Mmm, 193 is pretty high there. Soccer only has 152, though. Damn. Um, hang on, let me see if I have more statues to go through first. That's an Electrode. Should have revived the Shrew. Nothing to do but go for Earthquake, then. Let's do it. It's going for T-Volt. It's wild Pokemon AI, so they pick moves at random with no strategy. You've got no defense. You're not living this. I got the Soft Sand. I hope. Please, maybe. Oh, thank goodness. What? You just, just gonna put that there? Okay. okay. All right. <sighs> Ditto. Even they realize, they're like, yeah, you, you kind of need this now, don't you? It would have been nice to have gotten this when I was leveling up last night, but ship has kind of sailed. Hang on. Cuts down it and revive it. Hmm. Maybe I should just go for it. Rock slide myself. Or if I outspeed you, I can submission. I'm just gonna have to go for it. Now he's a shiny hair across. Can't yeah, no outspeed Ditto. Did Ditto have its speed buff for this hack or something? Only neutral. I made it flinch. Perfect. Submission did more, though. I'll just spam that for a moment. There we go. Has a few stats buffed, but they're not listed. It could have given transform priority. That would make sense, wouldn't it? The mirror match is a bit annoying right now, isn't it? As soon as I switch in Alucard, you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna rock slide. It just will, knowing my luck. Oh, give me a break. Bet on the speed tie. Good. Barely anything. Not a hyper potion again. At least I can start leveling up a little bit faster with the Lucky Egg, but I don't actually know... How does it work in Gen 2? Does it give, like, less or more than the standard amount of bonus experience? Compared to, like, modern games, I mean. Hyper Potion. Let me go ahead and just revive Cut, because we're probably going to need him again. Another ditto. Great. Well, this is what I got Cut for. We'll switch that little lad in, and then switch into for Alligator to finish it off. The ditto encounters are tedious, but they're easy, as long as I have that weak switch in. It's kind of a good, I good thing I brought in Cut, huh? Not that I actually really <laughs> needed to use any HMs down here. Unless they randomly put a cut tree at the end of this, in which case I'll probably be a little pissed. Let's go. Let's go, everybody! That shrew is pink. Is it sick? Hit it with Surf, watch it cry, and run away now. At least I caught the one Wobbuffet I found. I wonder if Wobbuffet is, like, a low encounter rate specifically to make it more annoying to catch, but I don't know. I say this, and the game gave me Abra pretty easily. Such little experience. Yep, here we go. 
can see the scientist up there. Even if... I, uh, I don't know if I can turn off the statues, because the statues seem to be a one-time thing. Pretty sure Emerald Kaizo made them 1% with legendary catch rates. Wobbuffet, you mean? Sounds about right. Alright, so let's exploit the AI a little bit. I'm learning that Sandshrew is actually a really underrated, like, HM user here, isn't it? Locking Electrode is pretty good. Yeah, Wabba's like that. Okay. What am I doing switching? I just need to let it kill me there. Okay. Send Dana back in and submission the Cloister. Look at that, friend. Now break it. I know I can't one-shot it unless I get a random, uh, random critic. Crit. Critical. I said critic and then, like, almost half hiccuped. Random critic approaching you in, in Pokemon. What would that be like? That sounds like it would be, like, a Gen 5 trainer class. Just random movie critics. I don't know why, but I feel like they just kind of fit in in some of those cities. It's super effective. 1531. Oyster is a bit of an annoying thing to easily criticize, isn't it? Can you even do much with, um, Cloyster in Gen 1? Like, uh, how good is it special in Gen 1? Because it's a water, water and ice type, so you think it would have stats to do something with that. I wonder if it suffered for the the special split. Alright, swap it back in. Use clamp. Yeah. And give him the clamps. Random critic, you mean the YouTube comments? Yep. It sure did suffer a lot. Good. Is it gonna kill me? No, it did not kill me. I'm still alive and you're getting surfed. Oh boy. Oyster Peak with Shell, shell, uh, shell Smash. Yeah, I know about that move. People use it for gimmick stuff. But I don't know much about competitive Pokemon battles. That's all it still does. Pretty much any Pokemon that can get spe Shell Smash just uses that move to be, like, cheesy, right? Fortress. There we go. Surprisingly, no. Okay. I feel like it would be funny if everyone expects Cloyster to shell smash. It just does something, like, completely wild and different just to throw them off. Like, it just goes for sheer cold and gets it. No, that won't work. Eight twenty. Eight twenty. Wheezing. Oh, boy. I know I can one-shot this with Sakura, that's what she's here for. It's what we trained up for. Because this thing's sludge bomb just would absolutely murder me otherwise. Here to boop. Weezing looks like it's horrified to see me. Like, I think it's supposed to be like a threatening face, but it looks like it's like, oh my god, what are you doing here? Oof. Some ones who get who get it have such bad speed they can't make use of its increase at all. That's unfortunate. Might as well just trick room at that point. Surveillance cams are in the Pokemon statues. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. Heal up for alligator. We may need it. I may as well use a super potion on Dana right quick. That's just enough to heal her. And we're probably gonna have to fight the Electrode team again, so I should just revive the Shrew. That little baby is helping. I just send it out there into a bomb. Hopefully it'll forgive me. If not, either way, it's getting boxed forever later. Okay, let me lean in here. Okay, it's Wobbuffet. Great. 
This thing is gonna absolutely ruin... ruin everything now, isn't it? Best I can do is go for the Megahorn one-shot and revive after if it kills me. Come on, let's go. Did they buff its defenses in this game? I don't even know. Damn, that's good. Sonic's getting there. Yep, one more. Hey, intruder alert. I knew it. All right, let's switch to Shrew and delete the electrode for free. I don't like this room. I would just like to stress for the record that I've been recording for an hour and I'm still here. <laughs> this, am I even gonna finish the rocket hideout today at this rate? Send out cuts. It's T waving and now it's gonna explode. Might, but only just that. Well, there's a few trainers in Price's gym. Maybe I could try and beat Price by the end, but I'm kind of doubtful. I feel like this is probably going to be the worst room, though. Like, this room specifically has the tools for Kaizo to rearrange it to be as, as annoying as possible. The rest of it is just going to be, like, probably making me just fight everyone, and I can do that. I've got a strong fighting type strong fire type, and I even got uh, a fire punch on Alakazam, so I should be fine to just slaughter Price, I hope. Maybe even surf Pile of Swine if I need to with the Gator. It's max potioning. I got too strong with that, huh? This is okay. This is okay. The beetle is gonna win. I haven't had to deal with any attraction shenanigans here, though. Wow, that one was a low roll. I'm really glad Submission is so powerful and it has 25 PP, because I really need it for this. Isn't... Sub uh, submission having its recoil removed, it's probably the best fighting type move I can possibly have with Dana, yeah. Dang, I failed. Alright, here comes the Explode Boy. It's my turn. Attract is so annoying. Yeah, it really is. Like, it's just a straight-up 50-50. Did they keep Attract in Scarlet and Violet? I don't actually remember. You'd think if they considered Hail such a problem, they'd get rid of that. Send in the Gator. Speaking of Scarlet Violet stuff, um, I, st I got a binder and have been just opening up the second Scarlet and Violet set of cards, and on my second pack, I actually pulled one of the most rarest things in the set. I got, like, the golden holographic Meowskareta, and it looks so sick. Just for my second pack, and in my first pack, I got the e uh, Chien Pao EX. Is that how you say it? The weird, like, ferret thing with, like, the sword bangs. I don't remember how to say its name. I'm not sure how to say any of that, like, uh... Were they a trio or a quad? Oh god, I don't even remember. The Snow Leopard. Yes, thank you. That's what it is. Fortress. Not a ferret. <laughs> I, that's what it looked like to me. Anyways, Fortress is coming out. Send out Alucard. You think it's a ferret? I not. It looks like one to me. Weasel. Set it on fire. I don't think I've gotten any cards for Paradox Mons yet. I don't know if they've actually printed those yet. Send them out. I find it very funny that it has swords for teeth, though. That looks hecka uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. Alright, we'll send in you... It is a sword. It is a sword. I've had severe tooth pain before, so I can't imagine what that'd be like. Disaster Pokemon, that's what they are, or something like that. One one nine seven. 
like treasures or something. I can't remember the lore of those Pokemon. I think it was like they were originally like given as a gift to someone who then took them back to like they're based on some kind of mythology. Is it a real thing where like someone took some treasures to Spain or did they just kind of make that part up? I don't know. Because Paldi is based on Spain, but let's see here. Ah, Wobbuffet. Look at that. I didn't go to school to hear the myth. Because the school is boring. I wanted to run around and catch Pokemon. There we go. Oh, great. Now it's going to do this. Screw it. I can revive anyway. Break it. Break it. That's okay. Vaporeon still gets experience. All good. All of them are good except for Wo Chen. Um, which one was that again? I can't remember. Um. The slug one. Yeah, that's right. The slug. Let's revive it. I only remember that Chi Yu is the goldfish because man, there's so many memes about how over, like, stupid powerful that thing is. I can't really use the lucky egg here, but when I'm training outside, I can definitely do that. I need my full power, but I might take a moment to go back and level up if I can. Everyone needs their boost item to keep up. Plus, we're also training Vaporeon, so it wouldn't make much of a difference. Um, actually, maybe I could just put it on Dana for a little bit. Since Dana is using the Soft Sand just for Earthquake, like, she mainly wants to go for Stab, Megahorn, or Submission, so... I'll make a save, though, because I'm worried about a random Thief attack just, like, removing it from me, because I've had that happen in Gen 2 hacks, and I hate it. I've lost my lucky egg, and I'm not happy about it. Oh, ditto. I can't remember. It was like the weird, uh, ox one, I want to say. The one with the bowl on its head. Whichever one that was called. People thought that one was terrible until some guy at a tournament just started using it to spam Fissure. And then it became, like, the, a random strategy that it can do, right? The Minecraft deer. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Uh, Ting Lu? Okay. No one thought it was terrible? I heard people saying it was terrible, but that was when the game was new, so it could have just been people assuming stuff. Yeah, what mod is ever good at day one? Rock slided. I don't think I could ever get too invested for, like, com competitive Pokemon as a player, because, like, imagine, like, you get a sponsorship, you fly out to, like, a, a, a state or a different country to go to a tournament, and you lose because Fissure missed. That would just break me. That, that would just absolutely break me. I couldn't do that to myself. And I missed. More Focus Blast, yes. I mean, that's kind of funny, though. Like, someone just realized that this tank Pokemon just does nothing but sit there. So it's like, you know what, I'm just going to spam Fissure, and if it kills something, you know what, why not, that's a bonus. And then everyone's like, wow, you know, that actually works. Why did Megahorn do that much? Because he got a crit with it, that's why. I think the Fissure build has fallen out. Because, yeah, you use them in doubles, so the partner does stuff. Okay, I'm just going to hope I win the speed tile. There we go. Actually, wasn't Sandshrew still alive? I could have just switched for that. Damn, I'm getting more than the shared experience now. In singles, he's very, very resilient still. Okay. What was special about it using Fissure? Well, it's... People were originally using it as, like, a tank or something to set stuff up because it's really slow and takes hits. So they realized that once it was set up or whatever, you could just spam Fissure before it dies, and if it takes something with it, it was it was a huge benefit. 
and that annoyed people because obviously betting every betting a bunch of stuff on like oko moves just kind of like made things a pain in the ass to play i suppose if you if you hit fissure hey it worked out if you missed it well that wasn't what it was there for in the first place okay i suppose it got to stick around a lot so it had a bunch of free turns just to go for it yeah that's just really funny um, Dana does still have the lucky egg, right? And take that off. Now, looking at this. Oh my god, seriously? It won't even let me go up like that, okay. Whatever. It doesn't seem like there's actually a path to reach the scientist. Am I out of my mind? Because I don't think I saw a path to get to it, but. At the very least, it seems like I can go through this over and over without fighting the Team Rocket Grunts anymore. Well, let's move on. It's dark in here. Are you alright? Your Pokémon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. Asprey, let's give it our best for Pokemon. Now what's this? Another lucky egg? Are they screwing with me? I think they might I think they might be screwing with me. You rotten little pest. Oh boy. Rocket Grunt would like to battle, here we go. I would like to learn to play, like, the Pokemon card game a little bit better. I don't know if I'd go to, like, a competitive competitive event or anything like that. Even if I was that super into playing card games, like, I hear that, like, at those huge tournaments, cheating is such a huge issue. It just feels demotivating to hear about. Here we go. 1131. One, one. Uh, I think I'll go for the Mega Horn. I thought it was shiny for a second. It looked like it was a weird shade of yellow. I don't usually see Hypno in Gen 2. What, do they just sneak cards in? Well, there's a lot of... Because it's a card game, there's a lot of sleight of hand stuff you can do when shuffling cards, and a lot of people do do that. Like, surprisingly... Because this stuff is streamed nowadays, there's a lot of times where someone will just do it on stream, and the entire chat will be like, he just, like, slid that card into his hand, and the entire... And then eventually, like, they have their prize money revoked because everyone saw them do it on, like, camera. It's... it's so silly. Okay. I remember, though, I, w I watched a video some time ago about how bad it, it used to be in the past, though. Like, you know how Magic the Gathering was kind of, like, more of the first big card game for people back in the early, early days? Apparently, like, cheating was so rampant back then. Like, there was, like... Things were so, so lax about it. Reportedly, there were top players who would just, like, put an important card on their lap under the table and casually just slide it in and nobody would, like, even, like, pay attention to see. Man, imagine, yeah, imagine flying out to a tournament and you lose to some dipshit that does that to you. <laughs> oh, what's this part of greed that was just surprisingly, like, in my hand? Let me play that. Well, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't know any magic cards, you know what I mean. I'm gonna switch. I don't trust Confusion to work for me. Gator's still about to level up, so I'll let you finish it off. Okay. Oh, it's going Max Potion, huh? It's going Max Potion, huh? And I'll just spam Slash and hope it works out. Oh boy, here we freaking go. Here comes Confuse Ray. I think card games are cool, but, like, the, the more you, like, look into competitive, you just hear about how, like, how everybody is just, just a cheater, and it kind of sucks. There's a lot of different ways people try and cheat. Oops, come on. One of my favorites to hear about is, like, you know how, like, everybody puts cards in sleeves, right? When they're playing at that level? 
There are people who will do slight things like press on the back of the sleeve with like their fingernail to mark an important card so that when they're shuffling their deck, they can see that mark and then just kind of slide it towards the top so it looks like they shuffled without issue. So bad. Another reason people use sleeves is because people would also like trim the edges of their cards so that they can kind of feel it in the deck when they're shuffling. Man, it's so silly. Oh my god, stop using a max potion, I hate it. Alright. Wow, that did nothing. Man, you know what, I think I'm going back to Dana, because I've had just about enough of you. Not to mention, there's also a huge issue of people stealing at those events, like... No joke, there are, I know that there's like entire groups of people that specifically go to big card game tournaments just to try and swipe decks when people aren't looking. Because obviously if you're playing at that level, you probably got expensive cards in there. It's really crappy. I remember one time I saw like a clip of some guy getting like walked out of a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in handcuffs because he was caught doing it. And I just like to imagine like, I hope that guy just felt extra humiliated like, getting arrested for going to a Yu-Gi-Oh card tournament to steal stuff. <laughs> there we go. It hurt itself in confusion. Anime moments. Imagine sitting in a cell and that's why you're there. <laughs> like, that's the crap that, like, the... The random, dumb background characters would do on the Yu-Gi-Oh! show. <laughs> it's so silly. 1, 3, 3, 6. That's a little bit. At least you finally got a level. Jeez. Alright, I gotta make these hyper potions last, apparently. Hmm. Psychic powers. Heal that up. Let's go. Well, being arrested for any crime is pretty cringe, if you ask me, but that's an extra cringe reason to be arrested. Alright, I don't talk to you from this. I'm just a grunt. I don't know the password. Too bad for you. Alright, looks like it's just the same from this point out. I really known to a few rockets that Rocket very graciously told me so after I beat it out of him. You heard it here first, kids. Crime is cringe. I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by our experiments. I didn't ask, bro. In fact, that's also a pretty cringe crime. Omastar. I should be able to just hit this with submission. I don't think Omastar can do anything scary to me. the food at Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments is also expensive. Really? That's lame. I know that that is a thing for, like, some kind- most events in general, where they overcharge you for food, because they know you can't really just easily go somewhere else. Oh boy, that sucked. Boy, just got a critical hit. Ancient power. Ancient power have its power buffed? I have no idea, but let's keep hitting you. Oh, of course you're gonna do that. Convention food sucks, too. There we are. When you went to Toronto, they wanted over $5 for a hot dog. Oh, that is so cringe. That's real cringe. Oh boy, here comes a max potion. This is why you pack your own food if you can. Always pack your own food. Let's see. All right, Omastar, are you dead yet? Any day now. Are you out of max potions? Good. Goodbye already. He has a scientist. Or he's a scientist, that's why he's got a fossil mon. Damn, that's a lot from the lucky egg. Scientist Mitch was defeated. Thinking is my strong suit, not battling. Well, think about how to battle better. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Why did they- why did they put Goofy up here? You challenge me to a battle? You're, you're nuts, but you got guts. I like that. You can beat me, I'll tell you a password to the boss's room.
Excellent. He's got Crobat. He must be friendly. He's gonna hit me with, like, Fly or something, so I should probably swap. Um... Damn. Damn, what's he gonna go for? I'm gonna try using Flamethrower, why don't I? Yeah, he went for Sludge Bomb, actually. He might not even have Fly. I know Crobat can learn it. Probably the best stab option it could have outside of Sludge Bomb. Oh, that's just fantastic. Uh, now I'm dead, aren't I? I think Crobat can outspeed Alakazam, and it'll probably one-shot me with Sludge Bomb. Might be better for me to just use Ice Punch with Feraligator, because I could probably tank a few hits. Come on! Alright, cool, we can take a bit of hits. I have... Does Crobat have buff stats now that I think about it? Having Sludge Bomb with it would be kind of viable. It does have that. Though you're not getting too many super effective hits in Gen 2 with Sludge Bomb. I really hope I freeze it, because this thing is a demon. Damn, I'm dead. Giga Drain. Right, I forgot the Golbats have that, too. That's a special move. What the hell are you gonna do with that? Can that even kill me? Yes, it can. Well then, I sure hope you can last. I have to go for that rock slide. He went for a max potion. Everybody's got a freaking max potion ready to use at half health. Please crit. Please crit and kill this thing. I hate it. I'm gonna get sent out of here, aren't I? Going for the bomb. Oh, he got a crit. Well. I'm gonna hope you go for another max potion, and this just kills you. Wait, I actually outsped it? I am honestly shocked. It's freaking Crobat. Damn. Might be a rare instance of my, uh, high uh, speed IV actually doing something. Okay, I think I should probably get out of here and just heal and spend my money. Let's do that. First, let's also just get in here and have ourselves a little heal. Me, I see your Pokemon, you may see them. I should probably beat up a couple wild Pokemon while I'm at it. Okay, I'm back, everybody. Let's go ahead and continue. I just need to take a quick little break. Boop. Uh, Alright, I thought the controller wasn't working for a second. Let's get back in there. I'm gonna have to go through the wild Pokemon. Hang on, I need to stand up a little bit here. Is this one, yeah. I could have sworn I saw the scientist. Ah, darn it. This is fine. I spent my money. Now we shall just use Dana to attack things. I can heal this. It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. And it went boom. Well, I'll live and get experience, though. That's fine. I hope. Please. Maybe. I go to heal, and this is the crap I get. I'm oh, upset now. I got Poison Cure. I got eight Paralyzed Heals. I stocked up on those a little bit earlier. Give him a Hyper Potion. I don't know if it actually repeats the wild Pokemon tiles, either. I think once you walk on them... They're just kind of gone. Um, do you think it does that 
hang on a second, I just realized if I go down there, I can reach the scientist, but I don't think I need to talk to the scientist. I think it's just going to be an extra battle that I don't need to do. Darn it. So the wild tiles also aren't respawning. Hmm. I already caught a Wobbuffet. Do I want to risk getting another one? I'm not so sure. I think I'll just take it out. I'll ca I caught one. I'll just hope that it has a good IV. I can also still find these at Dark Cave anyway, I guess. By the time I'd actually need a Wobbuffet, <laughs> it's, it should be late enough into the game anyway to be able to find one. Okay. That room is much easier to get through now that I know that everything is just limited. They don't want me farming the wild Pokemon encounters there either. Why is... Slowpoke Tail? Protein. Literally, these are just here to bloat my inventory. That's 100% why they're there. Low poke tail, very tasty, sells high. I didn't know you could actually pick this up as a real item. I thought it was impossible to get one of these. I guess I can sell it, that's what it's for. Do I know the password? Maybe. But no weakling's gonna get it. None of the proteins actually work if you try to use them. The only reason they're there is to be a sellable. And they're, they give them to you in like different varieties so it bloats your inventory stacks. I'm gonna go for Mega Horn. Dana has the lucky egg. She can do her best. I may as well keep it on her. She's a good lead here. 1419. So if these two. Oh, you had six Pokemon. Alright then. Slowbro. We'll hit it with Mega Horn. Everything is okay. Everything is not okay, I just missed. I got hit by Thunder Wave, that's not good. Luckily not a single Psychic type has been hitting me with Psychic. And before I finish that sentence, I see the word Psychic as if willing it into existence. And now I get fully paralyzed and don't hit it. Special Defense fell. Oh, I missed it! Well, I may as well just let this thing perish now and send in someone else. Oh, boy. Well, then. That's gonna be annoying if it uses T-Wave on me, but it seems like the best thing I can do now is just hit it with Thunder Punch, but... Punch it. Give it a punch. I two-shot it, at least. Ooh, that did a bit more than I was expecting. Okay, good, I got the paralysis off it, too. All right, take it out. 1159. Anything else? I don't have this here. Great. No Earthquake. I may as well just spam Psychic. It's got a bunch of HP, though, so I don't think this will be a one-shot. Unless I get a lucky random crit. He did paralyze me, which is really unfortunate. And I'm fully paralyzed. The status conditions are ruining this. At least I know that I can leave easily. Maybe I should have bought more escape ropes specifically for getting out of here. I don't want to use one up right now, though. There's not too many more battles here, actually, so... Oh, man. Lantern's too powerful. And if I send in for alligator, it's gonna have an electric move for sure. Great. Best I can do is fly. Or wait, no. Why would I do that? <laughs> it's still part electric. It's gonna resist this for crying out loud. 
I'm better off hoping for a lucky crit from Slash. Oh, he missed the T-Wave. That's good. They're both ain't gonna kill him anyway, right? Ooh, oh, did I get it? Oh, I actually did get the random crit. Oh, look at me. You can buy a Slowpoke Tail for 9,800 before exposing the Team Rocket souvenir shop. Okay. Interesting. And now we're gonna send in for Alligator and use Surf on this thing. Only in Gen 2. You can't actually buy it from that one dude that sells you... You can actually buy it from the one dude that tries to sell it to you before Union Cave. Wash it away. Wash it away. Okay, it's not dead. Oh, here's the track stats. When Dana is dead. That's not good. I need to finish this battle, so I'm switching and cut. <laughs> it tried to T-Bolt me. I keep forgetting that King and Queen can learn, like, the most random special moves. Yeah, that Slowpoke Tail is like the bike, where, like, even if you max out your money with cheats, it's literally not high enough to actually buy it. The game doesn't have, like, a real store prompt. It's just kind of a fake thing. Alright, send in Gator. Blast it. Come to think of it, why are bikes so expensive in the Pokemon universe? Like, what is that freaking bike made out of? Like, solid gold? Just selling actual gold is a lot- is pretty cheap, huh? Oh boy. Alucard can do this, but... They're making me work for it. This- like, there's not too many trainers to rearrange here, so they're kind of just, like, giving everyone, like, beefy teams. Alright, let's hit with the flamethrower. Wildplume looks so happy for having such a simple-looking face there. Fifty-five. Oh, dear. This isn't good. This is super not good, but I don't have anything else to lose. Your b abilities aren't real. Maybe I can burn you. Maybe I can just burn you. Let's have some cooked beef. Oh, I actually got the burn. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm good. I'm good. It doesn't matter what it does. It might spam milk drink now, too. Or wait, no, it's gonna spam max potions. That's what's gonna happen. Nope. Okay. Cow is cooked. We are all okay. There's a crit, but it didn't matter. 1795. Look at that. All right, stop. I'll tell you. Password to the boss's room is slow poke tail, but it's useless unless you have two. I don't remember if I actually talked to the other guy after beating him. I should probably double check that. Password to the boss's room. I think it was Radicate Tail. All right, perfect. Now I need to heal everyone up. Actually, how many people died? Yeah, I probably should just escape rope out. Hold up. That's too many revives to spend just to do this. And I should probably also fly somewhere else right quick to buy more. I can't remember what shop sold them. I want to say I could get them early on, like Violet or Azalea. I'll double check those. A bit of a pain that everything can't be at a single shop, but whatever. A Violet has it? Okay. Part of me, I like, kind of slightly almost choked on my drink. All right, let's fly. You know, for a place called Violet City, it's not very purple. In fact, the gym and the gym leader are very blue. You see. New theory video incoming. Did Pokemon Gold and Silver predict Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Maybe. 
I'm just gonna buy as much as I can afford, because I might need these later for the same reason. The roofs are kind of purple. Yeah, that is pretty purple. Not that it matters too much. I love that goofy dragon sprite Charizard has. Okay, I healed them up. Dana's still looking good. Sakura is still the highest level. Hmm. It's named after the flower, not the color. I suppose that's also true, yeah. Places here are mostly named after, like, uh, flowers and plants and all that related stuff. Still 203. I'm gonna make a save in case something goes wrong. This shall be fine. Maybe Lance should have helped me a bit more. Unlike him, I don't have a Dragonite to actually sweep everything, so I have to work for getting to the end. I'm gonna go through here. Just make sure I take the same path so I don't get any more extra wild encounters. There we go. It's not so bad now that I've dealt with everything there. Why am I getting so many of these? <laughs> this is the third one in this hideout. There's an ice heal. That is just there to bloat the inventory even more. Oh, a kid? I don't really like this, but eliminate you I must. Oh boy. He got three Pokemon at least. Zatu. Um, neutral Megahorn could psychic me. Sakura should be able to resist whatever it does, unless it's pack and T-Wave or some annoying crap. Oh, there's a Confuse Ray. Well, this is a pain in the ass, but it's going to confuse anybody I send in, so may as well go for the T-Punch. Damn it. Oh, it's doing set damage. Damn it. There's not much I can really do except go for it. Having multiple lucky eggs doesn't even do anything, pretty much. Well. That's unfortunate. And now he's probably gonna max potion. Ah. <sighs> I'll just revive her after this. This rocket hideout is, like, actually making me struggle, even after a bunch of grinding before starting. I'm gonna have to do a lot more leveling up if I want to have any chance of beating, like, uh, the radio tower for sure. Get that. Okay. 891. 1201. He's got a king. Hmm. I could just go for Earthquake on Dana. That's probably the best play right now. I don't even think I'm gonna have time to start Price's Gym today. Because if this is how the hideout is, Price is probably gonna be like uh, high 60s or low 70s for sure. Wait, what am I saying? The game is probably not even gonna let me fight Price. It's gonna make me go fight, um... No, wait, I can't use Whirlpool without Mahogany's badge, so I'm gonna have to fight... Oh, damn it. Really? I'm gonna have to beat Price before going to Jasmine, after all. So, the Radio Tower stuff probably isn't gonna happen until after I'm done the Lighthouse, huh? Usually, the, the Radio Tower stuff is prompted by Professor Elm calling you after you're done with Mahogany Gym. I'm assuming I won't get his phone call for that event until after I'm done with Jasmine. So, which means we're gonna have to go through the, the annoyance of the all the trainers in the lighthouse. There's probably gonna be some annoying puzzle with falling down the holes. Well, at least I, it's good to know I'm not going to have to go right to the radio tower. Anyways, this thing needs to die already. 
did put me to sleep with lovely kiss like the ones in blue kaizo did i didn't actually see what did that 1371 ursa ring you send out that teddy that bear is bad it's on the enemy team we gotta take it down did use lovely kiss okay Fight that bear. Punch it in the ring belly. That's its weak spot. Good. The phone call is ha is activated by you giving getting seven badges. Doesn't matter what order you do them in. Really? Maybe it's because I always just beat Jasmine before Price, so I never noticed that. But I suppose, technically, yeah, you can do Chuck, Jasmine, and Price in any order. I guess that makes sense, huh? I never realized that. That's cool. Anyways, we made it through. No need to talk to these peeps again. Better heal up Sakura while we have a chance. Everything is gonna be okay. Hmm. I'll keep Dana up front with the Lucky Egg. It should be okay. Let's use the Super Potions. Both Dana and Sakura have, like, really good coverage. The problem is I keep getting matched up with Pokemon that, like, I kind of force me to switch. No, it's more so the fact that they're packing Confuse Ray and Thunder Wave. I kind of just have to attack without switching, don't I? I have to just take the damn risk. I used to work for Sylph, but now I run research for Team Rocket. A meddlesome child like you needs to be punished. I didn't ask for your life story. Scientist Ross would like to battle. Okay, this I can just Earthquake. Unfortunately, as we learned from the last battle, I can't just one-shot random poison types. In fact, I do think Muck is a little bit defensive. Unfortunately, um, being a girl Heracross, that means you're guaranteed to have, like, lower, uh, lower attack IVs, which is annoying as heck. It's really weird that the game is programmed that way in order to remember, just to remember gender when you trade them between the first and first gen... Yeah, Gen 1 and 2, that's what I'm trying to say. Also, it's Pack and Flamethrower, that's funny. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> okay. No, the max attack uh, uh, DV depends on, like, the, the ratio of, the, of, like, the gender for the Pokemon species. Which is really... Annoying, because if you're looking at something like a starter, who normally have, like, a low chance of being a girl, that means their max uh, attack IV can be 0 or 1, which is really freaking annoying. So, it's only the physical attack IV, too. Oh, that's weird. No, no, you're good, friend. Let me see. So, if a Pokemon ha has a 50-50 chance of being a guy or girl, that means that, like, the max DV can be, like, around 7, because that's... About halfway to 15-ish. You can't get a shiny girl starter in Gen 2. Really? I didn't know about that. It's programmed... It's The game is programmed to remember uh, gender that way, so that it can remem remember when you trade it to back to the previous gen, where that mechanic didn't exist. They have to attach some Gen 2 mechanics to IVs, specifically <laughs> so that it can remember stuff. Because if you trade a shiny to Gen 1, it needs a way to remember it's shiny if you trade it back. There we go. To be fair, we also weren't even meant to ever notice stuff like this. <laughs> no one will notice this is attached to the attack IV. We're not even supposed to know what IVs even are. Alakazam. Oh, damn, you're packing that too. Um... I wonder if I could just use Fly on it. Because you're gonna get outsped and die to Psychic. There we go. The minimum attack DV is 2 for a Shiny to be possible. Oh, so that's why starters can't get that if they're a girl. It's really silly. Oh boy, I love using Fly and realize I just locked myself into Thunder Wave. 
please hit. Oh, good, it hit. All right, stab fly. Please do your magic. Please do your magic. I know you have no defense. I know you have no defense. You have no defense. Why you're alive? Boy. Here we go. I don't think Pokemon fans figured this stuff out until like Gen 3, right? Or was there some obscure, like, online resource for calculating this stuff in Gen 1 and 2 back in the day? This Pokemon was serious business. People broke that stuff open to win at tournaments. Sonic got to level 56. There we go. A mere tactical error cost me. Alright, dork. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Really? A one-way staircase. That's pretty mean. I better just use Hyper Potions for these. I got 35 of these bad boys. And I got a Paralyzed Heal for Alucard. Hyper Potion... I'm pretty sure Pokemon like Jinx are actually excluded from like the DV rule because Jinx is always like uh, programmed to be a girl. That means its IVs can't be locked to anything. It can have the maximum possible. First the room is dark, then it's light. Don't go on those stairs. Hang on, I didn't heal the paralysis. Let me do that right quick. By the way, have you guys ever seen like the Japanese versions of these games? Because one of the things I thought was pretty cool is that, like, the text characters are actually a lot more smaller than, like, the, the, the all-caps English here. So this screen actually looks a lot more clean with, like, the smaller, like, text size, to be honest. There we go. I better make a save. You're no doubt going to have six Pokemon, but after this, I just have to fight Ariana. I think that's it. Well, she's not named in this game, but we all know it's Ariana. Didn't I tell you I was gonna destroy Team Rocket? Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used dragons? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost, I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. What, what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost to a bleeding heart like him. Hm, I don't have time for the likes of you. Why are you even here? Ultra Ball. Oh boy. I am sweating to death in this room today. Thank goodness for this fan that I hope y'all can't hear. What? Who are you? This is the office of our leader, Giovanni. Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, he's been in training. But we're certain he will be back. Someday to assume command again. That's why we're standing guard. I won't let anyone disturb this place. Alright, let's beat him up. Let's beat him up. Send up my for alligator, just put him in a, ch a chokehold. I think this guy's name is Petrol? I don't remember. Oh, he has shinies. Cool. Well, this is not a good matchup. I think I should just sacrifice Cut for the safe switch and for Alligator to just surf it. Dawn Fan's defensive, so Heracross is not good for this. Okay, his strategy is to go for Confusion. Alright. He's killing the Shrew. Okay. Send out the gator. Give it surf. And watch the little thing die. Bronze Dawn fan, I suppose you could call it. It does look like it's wearing armor. Damn it, it lived. Damn it, it lived! And now we get to play everyone's favorite game of how many full restores and hyper potions do you have? Well, he's gonna heal, so I'm just gonna switch and get out of the confusion. I suppose that is just what Kaparaja is, isn't it? The bronze elephant. Oh, he went for Earthquake. Damn. Quick attack won't kill. Can I live this? Oh, good lord. Really? Really? Okay, that's cool. I love this game. I love how much fun it is. I 
I love getting hit by a crit. Over and over and over. Thirteen sixty-nine. It looks like I might be getting the full experience out of that now. Or is the experience share still subtracting? Send it out Gengar, so I should be okay to just use um, Earthquake on it. I have four Earthquakes left. Thank goodness that missed. Please kill. Please kill. I don't want to deal with this anymore. It's a higher level than me. Oh, thank goodness. I was getting tired of everybody living on, like, a pixel of health. Damn, 5,000. Love to see it. Aerodactyl. Um... Might be best to go for a Surf. Damn it. Aerodactyl's another really fast mon that I don't think, um... I don't think Alakazam can outspeed. I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl is, like, tied for second place with being, like, the fastest out of all the Gen 1 Pokemon, right? I can't remember. I think Electrode is the fastest. It's, I think it might be Jolteon and Aerodactyl are the second fastest. Oh, I flinched. Cool. Do it again. Do it again, I dare you! I missed. Have to know this information for Stadium. The Stadium round two is freaking mean. Alright. It's coming for me. Well, Paraligator can still take a hit and kill things with stab water, I guess. That's all it can do. Oh, there's a crit. Alright, what next? Half the team is down. Espeon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Espeon's got great specials. I'm gonna have to go for Megahorn, but it's definitely gonna be fast and hit me hard with Psychic. Oh yeah, I forgot the cool green Espeon. Of course the shiny was coming out. Um, what am I thinking here? I just have to go for it, because my special defense is higher on Dana than in my physical defense. Yep, here it comes. Come on, you just have to live one and hit the horn, and then this thing is deleted. Maybe it could live one. It was decently tanky up to this point. Darn, I'll have to try Alucard now. Go for the stab fly. Psy Wave. Just has a way to do set damage. I feel like Psychic would do more though, but the AI is gonna do that. Let's swap in between the two. Please give me a crit. I really need this. Oh, come on. Did they buff its, its physical at, at defense or something? I can't word. Damn, that sucks. I'm about to get destroyed by this little gremlin, aren't I? Yep. Well, nothing left to do except send in Sakura. If there's going to be anything he uses the full restores on, it's this. So I hope I paralyze it. How much will I do? Why do you have Sing? <laughs> what? And why did that hit? Well, it's over. It's all over. Oh my god, get out of here. Get out of here. I am an unhappy woman right now. And now it's going to nightshade me. Oh, golly. I woke up. Come on, go for the crit. They buffed the accuracy of Sing. Oh, yeah, I think I did. they did do that, didn't they? Let's do it. The green cat's going to go down. T-punch. Crit. Oh! It's over. 
All right, looks like I might have to beat up some wild friends because there's still the Ariana battle after this and she's probably going to have a packed team of six as well. Yep. Killed by Psywave. What has the world come to? If I run sleep moves, they will never, ever hit. You can believe it. All right, well, that's unfortunate. And how close are you to a level up? Sonic is... No, I'm not trying to surf. Something like that. Sonic's good, but it still needs a lot more experience points. I'm gonna take... Oh, right. Hang on, I better... I better go to the PC. I gotta use the Lucky Egg now. I'll just have to get Vaporeon trained up more between episodes again. No, not that. Deposit some crap we don't need. Everstone, I don't need that anymore. Uh, I don't need two Lucky Eggs on me. This is a sellable, we'll save it for later. This is a sellable, we'll save it for later. This is never going to get used, let's not kid ourselves. Again, like this. For Alligator, is being replaced by Vaporeon. I don't really need to level it up very much, like, ugh, that is such a pitiful special attack stat, and I need it for Stab Surf. Don't have a Dark type, that would absolutely wall that Espeon. Hmm. You are not going to be high enough level to fight here today, so let's just focus on buffing you three, mainly. Let's hop in here. Sadly, this is Gen 2, and most Dark types wouldn't do anything. I haven't really trained one up because, well, they wouldn't be able to do much except against that one Espeon by this point. Get it with the horn. Your options for Dark types in Gen 2 are Umbreon and... Nothing. Because who wants to use a Murkrow? <laughs> who wants to do that? Sneasel's crap without Weavile existing. Break that. I sure as heck ain't gonna be training up a Tyranitar now. I don't think I have access to Houndour anywhere in Kaizo. It might be a nighttime encounter, but I can only play this during the day. This Sunflora is making me a little upset. Get this here. Why? Won't you just kill the Sunflower? Why did I miss, like... Uh, really? Really, I missed again, huh? Missed again. You can find Larvitar at the start of this game in Dark Cave, but it's not worth training. Because it's just dead weight on the team. You might as well just, like, get Tyranitar later in the game. I got some experience. This is supposed to be the easy grass, like, grass patch for grass Pokemon, but... Every single one of these little gremlins is just making this as obnoxious as possible. Let's give wild Pokemon protect. That's a cool idea. All right, try again. Try another. Try another. Here you go. What was the accuracy on Megahorn again? Was it 85? I don't remember, but I'm suddenly missing a lot of them. Even if you take out the protects there. Come on, you can get to 68. Really is 85? Damn, it does not feel like it. Because of Pokemon, if I ever go to the doctor and they tell me that I have a 95% chance of living, I will break down in tears and cry because I do not think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna think about all those times that tackle missed for me in Gen 1 or 2, and I'm gonna be like, no, I, I can't, I can't do this. I'm not gonna make it. But it's a 95% chance, I know. And I've lost that gamble over and over. Okay. This is why when I know when I get into Fire Emblem, I'm gonna have a bad time, because Fire Emblem RNG, like, the percentages in that game- in those games are actually, like, kind of fake. 
Like, it's weird... To... Oh, hi, Joey. It's really weird to explain if you haven't heard of this, but, like, when Fire Emblem says something like 80%, it actually means higher than that, because they actually adjusted it to... Like, how do I explain this? They run some kind of calculation that if something says, like, 80%, that it's actually higher, specifically... Why is Doduo here? Specifically to make you feel better about yourself. Because the average person will see 80% and they think it's a sure thing. So they want you to feel like that 80% is going to actually be higher than it actually is. Oh. Everything above 50% is higher than it, what it looks, and everything below 50% is lower than what it looks. Is that how they do it? It's really silly. Anyways, I got some experience on you. Maybe swap Sakura up front for a bit. Put it on Sakura now. I don't know the exact calculations, and I'm sure it probably differs from game to game, but it's really weird to do that. I'm not exactly, like, a guy who loves math, but, like, I feel like when percentages, like, are done like that, I hate it. Like, I want to know what the actual odds are. Like, I've never played XCOM, but I know people like to complain where it's like, oh, when you miss that 90% or whatever. I think it's because it's specifically stuff like that. Like, Fire Emblem wants you to feel like those calculations are better than they look, so that you can be more confident in your decisions, but... It's one of those things I hate, though, because you have to know about that if you want to make a real sound decisions. Everything before FE6 is exact odds, I think. I mean, I can, under I can definitely understand the logic behind that. I kind of wish, though, maybe there was, like, a toggle or something. I'm sure somebody must have made, like, a mod or hack that, like, makes the percentages, like, actual. I don't know. Is there, like, a point where, like, a certain percentage with that formula? Like, if it's, like, above 95, does that just mean it's 100% always? I'm kind of curious about that. But, ugh. Because it works both ways. If you have a really low low chance, you want to, like, know if you want to bank on that. But but the formula's like, well, it's 20%. It's actually lower than that. It's just, like, 20% is a 1 in 5 chance. That's not, like, the worst thing in the world. When you try and describe this to someone, it's kind of silly, though, isn't it? Where it's like, hey, you know that strategy RPG? Well, it actually doesn't, like, tell you the real odds. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. I think I'm just... Mm, pardon me, I think I'm going to cough here. Okay, I'm just... I'm good after a little throat clear. Ugh. 68. Damn. Three for the special. I feel like I could use a bit more on Sakura, though. This is the best place to level up. There's only really fire types at Lake of Rage, so it's not the best place. Unfortunately, because of, like, the protect and the synthesis and all that, it's annoying. Can I one-shot things here? Let's find out. But I've learned one thing for Pokemon is if something says 70%, you never trust that. You will never, ever trust anything that says 70%. Because that thing will fail you like 90% of the time. Oh boy, now I'm confused. Let's finish it. Good, good, excellent, excellent. I want to see if I can at least beat the Rocket Hydo today. Ooh. Man, I thought that Mount Mordar was going to be a pain in the ass. But this place is taking twice as long because I got through like that cave in one hour. can't bet on anything. Uh, getting, uh... Losing your turn to a track status is 50-50. Getting paralyzed during a turn is like a 1 in 4 chance, but it does not feel like that. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that at all. 17-22. I really feel like Sakura needs a few more levels. Like, the thing is, I actually bet on Sakura being really good at the Rocket Hideout, because... I thought maybe I could psychic my way through poison types, but it turns out that there's actually not very many poison types there at all. I seen one muck, one wheezing, and no Arbox at all. They have like a very good variety of Pokemon. Well I suppose there was Vile Plume, but you know what I mean. 
At least the Lucky Egg will make training, like, way easier for sure, but I just need to top myself up before I go all the way down there, because I do have to fight Ariana right after, and she's definitely going to be stronger. Here we go. Give me that there. Do that. No, I took the experience share off specifically so I get more experience for who I'm training, friends. Training somebody up right now to level 60-something ain't exactly a viable strat. Kill the Doduo. I don't know why Doduo is here all of a sudden, because I definitely did not see any of them here previously. 1167. I wonder if Charizard can even one-shot anybody here with Flamethrower, because when it was, when it was like, mid-50s, it couldn't kill anything in one hit here, and it was a pain. Ice Punch this. No, I'm not going all the way to level 70. I just want one more level on Sakura right now, because she needs it. Twenty-one forty-nine. That's a good chunk right here. Vaporeon is not going to be ready to fight anybody today. It's just going to slow down the training right now. Sometimes I can send it in for a random quick attack, but that is very situational. At the very least, if I needed to use Surf, I probably can at least take one hit from, like, Espeon if it needs to, but I can't bet on that. Normally, the Rocket Hideout is super quick, but yeah, they have, like, 400 battles in there. It certainly feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Speaking of never-ending RPG battles, I am finally going to be starting Mother 1 tomorrow uh, at the start of that stream. That game is supposed to be very grindy as well, but I think, considering I'm already playing this, I don't think it can be nearly as bad. <clears throat> Pardon me. There's no physical way it can be more grindier than Crystal Kaizo. Hit that thing. I've been talking about doing that for a while, and I'm finally making it happen. We finished Infinite Fusion, so the Sunday slot is definitely open for another RPG playthrough. I thought maybe that there was, like, something in that game that makes it, um, easier to level up, but it turns out it was just the Easy Ring, or whatever it's called, is just something from a fan patch, so I don't want to use that. I want to play an official release if I'm going to play that game for the first time. Okay, one more battle should do it. I plan to do all three. There we go. You can play Mother 1 and 2 on Switch, because, like, Nintendo re finally released their, like, uh, original unreleased translation back in the day. Yeah, they put it on Wii U first as, like, Earthbound Beginnings. I have both, technically. I have access to the Switch Online version because I have an account, and I have it downloaded on my Wii U, but I'll probably just play it on the, the Switch. I know that Earthbound, the Earthbound Beginnings release is actually based on the original prototype that was edited a little bit because I think, like, that was rebalanced a tiny bit, and people in my Discord were telling me that, like, they made some slight, slightly different changes as well. Sorry, I should probably start over. I'm sounding like an incoherent mess. So the original Mother 1 release in Japan was a little bit rushed towards the end, from what I understand, so some parts of it weren't balanced. So when Nintendo went to translate it, they edit, they tweaked it a little bit to make some parts easier. But that, that version was unreleased, even though they translated it, because they thought it wouldn't sell. And then later in the Wii U era, they're like, you know what, here's Mother 1. And then they basically released that version, but they edited it slightly more again. People know there's a difference because that original translation was actually leaked online, and people just called it, like, Earthbound Zero for the longest time. Do I have all my parts of the story straight? I don't know. But that's what people have been telling me, and I thought that was very interesting. I think... Someone told me that, like, there are a few, like, boss attacks that can, like, nearly insta-kill you, and they kind of soften those a little bit. But we'll see, and as we all know, Mother 3 is available via fan translation. Hang on. I'm still kind of on autopilot training Sakura here. I should put someone else up front, like Alucard. Let me just kill the Sunflower. 
There are insta-kill attacks. We'll see. I shall experience... I want to experience this ga these games for the first time. I'm sure it'll be, a it'll be fun. I know a lot of people have recommended that I just skip Mother 1, but I don't want to. If I skip it, I'm just never going to get to play... I'll never go back to it, is what I mean. All right, here we go. Mother 3 is never getting, like, an official release at this point. Okay. Um... Yeah, Alucard's the one that needs a little buff now. Should be easy to get at least one level on it. Okay, let's take this away. I think I could use the Earthquake buff for Dana there. Hmm... I don't know, I might just give her the Lucky Egg anyway, because I need Megahorn throughout that fight with Petrol. The egg. Sonic is shaping up to be strong. Oops, I'm still poisoned. I should go heal that. Yeah, I said that a little earlier. I'm playing Kaizo, so how bad could Mother 1 really be, right? I am going to... I might take some time to level up between stream sessions like I am with this, though. Because I'm told that, especially towards the end, it can get really a little bit, a little bit rough. Okay, 1722. Hey. Set the spaghetti on fire. I do know that there's apparently a, quite a bit of parts in Mother 1 where, like, you're, you just have absolutely no idea where to go because the game tells you nothing, but I'm sure chat can guide me during those parts when I ask. Because they can be good, respectful moments, I hope. No, you're all good moments. Don't worry. 26. What's my special attack look like? 164. I wish it could be a bit higher, but that special defense and speed is pretty nice. There we go. Hang on, I gotta go get rid of this poison right quick before it hurts my eyes. Heal into perfect health. Maybe once I play that trilogy, I can finally start exploring all those, like, 700 indie games that are inspired by it. Well, that's not true. I did have played off, like, a few weeks ago. Excellent. A little help teddy, that's right, we do have a little help teddy. In fact, have I shown it off in this playthrough? Kaizo is often people's first... Uh, first stream for me. So they might not see all the teddy emotes. Hang on, let me load it. Because it's cute to look at. I'm trying to find the bear. Ah, uh, there it is. Right, whenever I need help in a game like that... I put a little help teddy on screen. That's the symbol that it's okay to give me a hint or help. I don't use it too often because people just ignore <laughs> the fact that it's not there anyway. But he needs help. Can you help Teddy solve the puzzle? You damn well better. He looks so sad and troubled. He needs some help. He's so lost. You know what else is a good Teddy that can help? Yeah. We could just put the jammin' bears on the screen, why not? Imagine if I just played, like, an air horn sound effect with these, like, boppin' teddies every single time someone subbed. That would be the most obnoxious crap ever. Hold up, I should stand up and stretch. I've been sitting for... Ooh, I've been going over two hours with this, I didn't even notice. This rocket hideout is kind of really annoying. I'm just gonna give Charizard one more level here, and then we're getting out. The test is too hard. You gotta help Teddy. That's right. Help him cheat. Help him cheat. It's like that clip of uh, the angry video game nerd where he's like, that's right, we're gonna cheat. <laughs> Probably does that. I ain't doing that justice without the clip itself. It just sounds generic. Alright, set it on fire. Hang on, I'm gonna put the bears away. They need a rest too. Oop. Burn. Burn. Yeah, the Billy Mitchell clip. Oh, hang on. I shouldn't... 
I shouldn't say anything else. He might sue me. He is a great video game person who I have no doubts that he is the best. There, is that good enough? Set it on fire. There we go. Now to move to a completely different topic. Remember when we were talking about people cheating, cheating at trading cards? Yeah, that's nothing like the former topic whatsoever. What a segue. Gosh, complete, complete 180 in discussion. Let's go over here. Hey. It's only a duo. How close was I to a level up? Getting kind of close. Flamethrower is great stab fire. Like, when the opponent throws out Fortress or Scizor, you can believe this crap shreds them. And I guess Alucard will probably be decently good help against Jasmine, too. Tenny would 100% cheat and use its cuteness to get out of trouble. No, that's what Cleffas do. Teddy's more honest than that. Most Teddies are, anyway. Burn it. Okay. Set the bay leaf on fire. Fire! Did we hit it yet? There's a crit I would have liked to have in that battle. Thank you for the resub there, Jumbo. One more. And we should be good to go. The Lucky Egg has speeded this up very significantly. At least if we're gonna go try and beat Petrol and Ariana, we might as well, um... It is Ariana, right? It's not Adriana? I'm kind of doubting myself all of a sudden, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> um... The last couple streams of this have been kind of short, because usually I get kind of walled around the two-hour mark, and I'm just like, you know what? I Best I can do is just grind off stream, but... I can get a quick few levels here. Alright, we're good to go. Does anyone remember his first- it's just Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan, I just remembered myself. I can put the experience share back on Vaporeon now. Because they're not going to get a level up mid-battle. Let's go beat it up. I may as well just take this thing out. I got the Lucky Egg on, it's up front. Kill it all. Burn. Okay, we're good. Wonderful. Only a teensy bit. Could definitely use uh, some more levels, that's for sure. The Lucky Egg might as well just go back on Dana, though, because I don't really need Earthquake to be buffed that much, so I might as well just let her take the extra EXP if she gets a kill. I need her to use Mega Horn against the Espeon. Unfortunately, I'm not super confident that I could live a Psychic again. Even with... Did I give her one or two levels? Double check here for my... Like, look at that. That is some really good special defense for a freaking Heracross. I didn't realize it actually had good special defense, but... Oh, well. It's probably because it has so many weaknesses they wanted to give it that. But that's okay. All right. Took Lucky Egg. I wonder when Espeon comes in, if if I don't get the Mega Horn, I should probably just switch into um, Sakura and just go for Thunder Punch and try and paralyze it or something. I gave her two levels, so she got like six more special. And I suppose the Magnet does help a little bit. King's Rock, I, I can't really depend on that, getting the uh, flinch, can I? Charcoal on you... And we'll give Dana the Lucky Egg and put Experience Share back on Vaporeon. Alright, I think we're good. Let's make another save. I'm almost at 100 hours. <laughs> Less than half of those have me actually playing the game. The rest has me been grinding on speed up between episodes. Okay, let's see if we can beat the Team Rocket members. Let's do it. I didn't expect this place to be this much of a trek. Hang on. I just gotta lean in here, because it looks... Like, the glare of, like, the sunlight on my monitor kind of makes it hard to, like, see this. Okay. My nose is itchy. Not a good time for this. Oh, 
Okay. Luckily, we know exactly where to go. It's weird, because, like, just looking at this, you wouldn't think it would take me two hours to get through, but the battles have been rough. Alright, first one was for the, uh, the Dawn fan, so we're just gonna start with for Alligator and hope that a good... a good freaking Surf kills it. I hope. Please, maybe. Please. Pretty please with sugar on top. It's a large room. The meeting table. I need a drink. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of things recorded this weekend, aren't we? That's good. Big goal is to just have, like, all the thumbnails and all the re uh, rendering done this weekend, after I'm done streaming. Then hopefully spend a good chunk of the week getting some editing done. So I really wanted to get stuff done. Whoops, or finish editing. I'm just sounding repetitive now. That's okay. Probably should squeeze an extra day off for myself, because I want to play more Tears of the Kingdom already. I might do a few more short stream days as well. Tuesday's been good just to play, like, Digimon for, like, a few hours. Um, let me see here. Ah, darn it. Let's go for Earthquake. I should've just swapped in the Shrew. Last time I swapped in Vaporeon and I got killed by a crit. Shh, you, know, you know what, YOLO, I'm going for it. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Alright, perfect. Mm, okay. What's next? Gengar. This is what I needed Dana's for Earthquake, but I already know she can kill without the soft sand. Extra level should guarantee that too. Wednesday is normally a long day, any day, a long day anyway. Uh, I think Dylan's gonna be able to come over again. We'll just play more Donkey Kong Country or whatever else I can think of. I don't want to go overboard this week. Ow! Oh. Well, this is lame. This might have just decided the battle right here and there. Oh boy. So all I can do is just hope I wake up, huh? Yep. I'm still set to try and finish uh, Silent Hill after this. I think I have like an hour or so of the game left, and I just wanted to get that recorded, see if I can do it. Maybe during the week I can move on to my next spooky game. I've been wanting to do another Resident Evil for some time. Please wake up. Oh, God. Oh, I think I lost. Yep. I lost to sleep. That's cool. Either RE0 or Code Veronica or something would be cool. Because I've never beaten Code Veronica, and I kind of kind of really want to. Especially if it does get a remake. Well, I, I guess I just... Use Psychic. I don't know if I can one-shot it, though. Hope I can. How good is Gengar's special defense? It ain't bad. Need a really good hit here, because if it puts me to sleep, it's all over. Oh, okay, barely. Barely. My Pokemon are always very tired from the grinding. Hey! It's not my fault. You gotta make this work sometimes. So, no Megahorn. That means... All I can do is spam T-Punch now. I need a crit, and I need it to paralyze, and I'd like it right now. Chop chop, pretty please, RNG. That's nice. My RE videos got you into the series? I appreciate that. It's been a good while since I've uh, done one. Let's see. I played R well, I played RE4 Remake when it came out. That was a lot of fun, but that didn't... Videos like that never do particularly well because everybody streams streaming new games. Whenever I try to play new stuff as it releases, it does very poorly. But I love that game too much to care. <sighs> Come on. Can you do it, Sakura? Do it. I've kind of wanted to also play Resident Evil 3 Original and Remake on stream. There we go. Played Original years and years ago. 
That was back in the old days when no one was watching. You got a Heracross as well? I'm gonna go with Psychic, because I know you die to that. Huh. Why does Ditto Transform look more like a shiny Heracross than actual Heracross? That's funny. Well, the thing about Code Veronica for Resident Evil is that that game is quite long because it was originally supposed to be Resident Evil 3. See, there's a funny story is that uh, Resident Evil 3 on PS1 was originally like a side game, but uh, Sony was like, hey, Capcom, uh, you promised us uh, a third number game on our system. So Capcom was like, okay, Code Veronica is now Code Veronica and Nemesis is now Resident Evil 3. You happy? <laughs> And then Sony's like, yes, yes, we are. There we go. Um, let me see. Aerodactyl is gonna slaughter me. <laughs> I can't really do much except hope Sonic can just kill it with Surf, maybe. Or alligator's dead. Think about Code Veronica as I tried to play it years ago, but there's kind of an infamous issue when you get a little bit into the game, that makes everyone, like, stop playing for a bit. There's a part where you have to do an escape sequence for the first section of the game, and when that happens, you have to fight, like, a boss at the end of it. But the problem is, during that escape sequence, you're not allowed to re-enter any buildings and pick up any ammo or weapons that you missed. And... You can easily end up in a situation where you just don't have enough ammo to beat the boss and that happened to me And it made me have to restart the whole game and I wasn't very happy about that So I stopped playing and I've come to learn that that exact situation has happened to so many people that it's kind of a meme for a uh, meme in the community I don't know Can I live this? No, I ain't living that. I did hit it pretty hard though. That's good. Maybe Dan I maybe Sakura can outspeed it and win. Let's find out I am one level higher. It's also a problem because I missed picking up the grenade launcher and I knew where it was, but I, the game would not let me enter the building to pick it up because it's like, no, you gotta run. You gotta get out of here. And I'm like, but I need that. Ooh. All right, catch you later, friend. Tauros. Oh, this is not the matchup I wanted to deal with. I'm going to hit it with one hard psychic and hope Alucard can clean up. I might be able to still do this. I might be able to still do this. Damn, Shiny Tauros looks a little weird here, but it's kind of better than the puke green it gets in Gen 3. Alright. Code Veronica is a very long game, but I do know the story from playing Dark Side Chronicles on the Wii. Ooh, double edge. It'll make you take some recoil, at least. Nice. It's definitely a cool game, but, like... It was originally made for the Dreamcast, so it's the game very much has that like awkward bits of graphics between like um, that came right after like the PS1 and 64, where it wasn't quite where everything looks kind of like plasticky. I want to say, you know what I mean? Those kind of graphics that are like between PS2 and PS1, if that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. But I never really grew up with a Dreamcast, with, but when I see Dreamcast games in, in 3D, I'm like, that's the only way I can kind of describe it. I couldn't do a thing. Giovanni, please forgive me. Nice. No, I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others. Alright, so I have to use an escape rope and go heal, because my team is just dead, and if I try and leave the normal way, I'm gonna have to fight Ariana and get killed. Okay, let's go. Like, weird wax models. That's actually a pretty good description, yeah. Let's heal up. Here we go. Excellent. Oh boy. Thank you for waiting, your Pokémon are fully healed. RE0 also has some weird problems that make it not super fun to replay, in my opinion. Like, the later boss fights in that game are very awkward. Like, for the most part, I am absolutely fine on tank controls. I don't complain about them like everyone else seems to do, but some of those boss fights toward the ends are just like, basically you're just spending your health items to stay alive, is what it feels like. Am I good to fight? I think I can just go in and do it, to be honest. 
me just save. I'm sure we'll be fine. I don't even feel like going to spend my money, to be honest. <sighs> Joey. Yes, yes, Joey. She's no doubt gonna have six Pokemon. Like, absolutely she's gonna have six Pokemon. She might be more powerful than a gym leader, too. Looks like I've been recording for about two and a half hours. Let's finish this up and switch to Silent Hill. I'm already running a bit late today because of the whole, like, the neighbor deciding to power wash things for an hour and a half. Yeah, that whole dealio kind of set me back a bit. Let me see... Alright, there we go. I always just have to lean in there to see the outline of it all. Okay. What do I see? Why did I go here? What am I doing? Hang on, I need to approach this door. My brain just, like, went right by him without even thinking. Door is closed, enter the password. For some reason, I just didn't even think of going that way. Hold it right there. We can't have a brat like you on the loose. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride, you see. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. Sorry, baby. Now to get ready to be thrashed. That Dragonite just, like, punched her in the gut and sent her flying. Hey, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun. What, you had an accomplice? Where is your sense of honor? As the interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Here we go. Six Pokemon, let's go. Mistrevis, oh crap, this thing's stronger than Miss Magius, I believe. Level 70, alright. What do I go for, huh? See much you can do with this. Of course you're gonna just spam hypnosis. Why am I not even surprised? Can't do anything if you're asleep the whole damn time, you know? <laughs> oh my god. So if I just don't wake up, it's over, right? No, I've ar I'm already dead. You won't speed me. Oh, this is really lame. All right. Finish me off. I guess we're just gonna bang our head against the wall until we win this. Until I win the coin flip of Hypnosis. That's my favorite way to play. Okay, Sakura will no doubt be faster. I can hit a hard Psychic. Crunch from, um, for Alligator is not gonna do anything, though, is the sad part. Let's see how much I can do with this, because starting with Sakura might have to be my play. Oh my god, I can't even take it down to half. I might- I don't think I can beat her today. I think I'm gonna have to grind. Might be the end of the episode after this battle. She can hurt me a little bit, though. You don't have physical attacks, there's not much you can do, except putting me to sleep. Damn it. Yeah, if I get, like, another level or two, I could at least two-shot this thing. She might be in, like, full restore range now, too. She's switching. She's switching. And Kangaskhan. Well, I know I need to save Dana for this thing now. Can I two-shot you? You're pretty tanky, but... Wait, what? Oh! Leftovers. That makes things even more complicated. Uh-oh. Psycho crush that baby! Critical hit! Critical hit! Critical hit right there. No, It's over. Well. Yup. None of my Pokémon are even at level 70. I thought this, these were gonna be the levels of Crisis Pokémon. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm definitely gonna have to grind. <laughs> no question, the full restores mean that there's just no way. Oh, well. We've been going for over two and a half hours, and I did almost all of the rocket hideouts. 
Because the thing is, right after this, it's just going to be, like, going into Price's gym, so who's probably going to have higher levels anyway? Just hit the thing. Can I burn it? No. Why would I get that? Why would I get that? Oh, boy. Recovered with leftovers. It look at least I'm killing you. Not in a very fun way, mind you. <laughs> but at least it's working, I think. Do I outspeed you? Probably not. I've only taken out one Pokemon. Oh, nice, I do. Alright, two Pokemon down, but Alucard <laughs> didn't really carry the work for that. Sonic's gonna be able to fight next time as well, once I can train it up. Problem is, I really need to, like, look up what days the move tutor is available. Starmie? Why? Why Starmie? Maybe I could crunch it. No, it's gonna have T-Bolt. It's absolutely gonna have Thunderbolt and stuff. Thunderbolt, Psychic, all that stuff. This is not good! This is not good at all. I'm gonna hit you with my round less than 110 special. I'm dead. I'm broken. It's all over now. Game over, man! Game over! I don't think even a critical hit would kill this thing. Yep. Yep. For alligator just can't do anything with these stats. Shame it, like, doesn't get any damn moves, either. Yep. Well, time for you to just put me out of my misery. I'm pretty sure stab fly with Charizard would do more da would do more damage than like surf with Mystic Water on for Alligator. That's how bad it's gotten. I think it got a really bad special IV. I can bite you. I can bite you. My cannon speed. You were not getting the flinch win. That's for sure. Damn, that did a lot. Starmie is already kind of a monster. I don't know how its stats it got adjusted for Gen 2, but... Oh, boy! I'm dead. I'm super dead. Ah, oh, great. Hmm... I don't really have a strong Pokémon to use Shadow Ball with yet, either. Remember that Shadow Ball is also a physical move in this gen, so teaching it to Vaporeon wouldn't be a good idea. Because it doesn't have good attack. Morty did give me the TM for it, but i give it to something good some other time. Alright, so we know what we need to do right now. I need to beat Ariana, then Lance will give me Whirlpool, and then I need to beat Price's Gym. I use that, then I can use Whirlpool to get into the lighthouse, beat that to get Jasmine to return, and then beat her, and then it's radio tower time. And then I can go this direction into the ice path. By then, everything's gonna be like level 100, but... Overall, considering how the rocket hideout is laid out, decent progress, decent progress indeed. Right now, the team is looking good. Um... Maybe I will have to get that Golem set up as well, finally. Golem or catch a, Dr a Dratini? No, I don't think I have access to one yet, do I? Is that the game corner? I'll have to double check later. Save again. Anyways, let's take a quick break and switch games here now. I'm not gonna, like, sit here and be down because I can't win a fight at the end of every episode in Kaizo. That's just how it is. The game is meant to be super hard. As long as it's comfy and fun along the way, we can get him next time. We'll train up. Man, it is a shame, though, because Alucard did get, like, more than 11, le 11 levels between episodes here. And that Vaporeon started at, like, a, as a level 20 Eevee. Uh, it's still good. There's no Thief TM to get. Yeah, yeah, there's something like that. 
I think Dylan got it, like, way late game or something. Because he did say he farmed some item at some point. Oops. I, uh, just double-clicked my Game Boy and it did that. No worries. <laughs> Anyways, it's great to Switch Games. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good night. Look forward to more. Bye-bye.